Under the zones and connection tab, you would have noticed that your four zones is now available in the left hand side. Um, what we're going to do next is look at your actual map for perimeter patrol. So I'm going to say save and close. And you would have noticed that it's got your zones on the actual map. Um, this is the default map for this specific version of perimeter patrol. But as we upgrade to newer versions, the default map will change. So if it looks a little bit different than this default map, don't, don't worry about it. Um, what we're going to look at at the moment, we've got our four zones here on the left. Um, I'm going to click on the specific zone and drag it on the specific map. Um, the way I do that is I keep the shift key in on my keyboard. And while I'm pressing the shift key, I press on the actual zone four with my mouse, keeping the left mouse button pressed down. And I'm going to move zone four to the bottom of this specific map and then let go of the mouse button and the shift button. <clears throat> We're going to do it again with zone three. So that is pressing shift and holding shift button in, pressing with the left mouse button on zone three and keeping the mouse button in and moving the zone on the map to the specific location where, where you would want to place it. We're going to move zone two with exactly the same way and then move zone one to my left. At this point, I'm going to go more into the actual mapping as I want to just show you guys an example of the different type of maps that one can pull into JVA Perimeter Patrol. Um, the next map I would like to show you guys is actually a Google map. So I've, I've gone to setup and I've gone to configuration. I'm back into my system configuration tab. And on the top here, I'm going to move along to a, another tab that says mapping. Underneath mapping, it's showing my default map location at the moment, which is called default map, which is the, the background picture we're currently using. I'm going to select browser. I'm going to click on uh, actual um, Google map, which I've marked uh, JP for Jetpack. It says, are you sure this may affect the zone positions on the map and cannot be undone? I'm going to click yes and save and close. It has now changed my default map. And as you can see, also the location of my actual zones. Um, one could just keep shift in and move those zones to wherever it needs to be to get them in the right configuration. Um, for this specific purpose, I'm actually going to change to a, another map, which is illustration. So I'm going to go back to setup, back to system configuration, click on mapping again, uh, click on browse to select a different map, select my uh, last map illustration, and click save and close. And it has pulled up my new map. I'm going to now just move my zones back and clicking on zone one, I'm going to move zone one to this location. I'm going to move zone two to this location. Zone three to the bottom right location. And my final zone, zone four to my bottom left location. To draw a picture on Perimeter Patrol to uh, allocate or show your specific zone, what one would have to do is right click on zone one, select draw line. I'm gonna click here to start the drawing of the actual zone, pull it up to there. Once you wanna change direction, you click with your mouse on the left button again <clears throat> you can change direction. I'm going to bring it down to this point, click again, move it up and bring it around a section of the property going down, going around and up to this point. At this point, you left click and you right click on the mouse to save your specific zone for zone one. To draw zone two, we would right click on zone two, we would click on draw line, we would start our 
zone two over there, move up, click on it there, move it across to show exactly where zone two is uh, gonna be. Uh, move it down, bring it across. And at this point, we're gonna right click so that it saves the zone two line. So at the moment, we've got zone one running from here across to there and zone two from this section around and down to where you can see the zone three label. I'm gonna right click on the zone three label. I'm gonna say draw line and I'm gonna draw a line from here to that section down right across the perimeter back up and close to zone four and right click again so that it can save your zone for zone three. Um, zone four, I'm gonna click shift, move it slightly up to there, right click on it, click on draw line, start my line over here and move it up along with the perimeter to that point and bring it to the left and then bring it up again and then right click to end my zone four. Um, I've picked up that we did make a mistake on zone three and we'd like to correct zone three's line. So I'm gonna click on zone three, right click and click on delete line. It will ask you, are you sure you wanna delete the perim uh, perimeter outline? I'm gonna select yes. And I'm gonna move zone three to the middle and I'm gonna just redraw the line for zone three. Right click on zone three, click on draw line, and we're gonna start from here, draw the line up to that section, come back up to there, and follow our perimeter until we meet up with zone four again. At this point, I'm gonna right click again to save zone three. To explain the different colors at the moment, you would have noticed that the lines are red, which means alarmed. Um, we haven't armed or disarmed our system yet. Um, your lines, the, the, the colors for the actual lines is as follows. You've got your green for disarmed, your um, yellow for armed, um, you've got a darker yellow for activated, which you could use um, for a different option if you're bringing third-party software, uh, not software, but actual devices into Perimeter Patrol. Um, you've also got your resolved alarm, which will be purple, which will go into more uh, technical details as we look at the event view and reports, and then at the moment alarmed. Um, the next step that I would like to cover from here is going in to actual setup again and looking at your user configuration.